Hello, Herrick's Television Network viewers, and welcome to the 2022 Herrick's District Art Show. We are here for the very first time at the high school. This is where the art show was this year, and hopefully in years to follow. Right now, I'm in the beautiful remodeled courtyard, and if you look around, you're gonna see some amazing artwork out here. You're gonna see sculptures, you're gonna see incredible fashion work, and then please go inside and take a tour of some of the exciting work that students and art teachers have worked hard to create all year long. Enough talking, go take a look inside, and thank you all for tuning in, and have a very happy and please very safe summer. I love it. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our high school spring art show. Yay! Big round of applause. I'm sure most of you know me. I'm Miss Arnold. I'm the director of Fine and Performing Arts. You may recognize me in the music setting, but I am so beyond excited to be here in the art setting. It's really a passion of mine, and I'm so thrilled that we were able to bring this art show to the high school, to our courtyard, to our building, and really bring even more beauty to our already beautiful school. So that's because of all of you and all your hard work. This year, I've enjoyed so much getting to know you, getting to work with these amazing teachers, and really enjoy all the artwork that I see every single day. It's just really beautiful, and it really brings me so much joy. So thank you all for bringing so much beautiful art to our, our school and our community. So I'm really thrilled. So tonight at our art show, I want to, they just left, but I want to recognize our musicians. <laughs> it's okay, you'll see them. They're very fast, they're very fast. Ryan Lowe and Preston Chan, they'll peek in for a You'll be hearing more of their beautiful music as you enjoy our art walk this afternoon. So thank you for the music um, music piece as well. Um, I'd also like to recognize here tonight from the Board of Education, our President Henry Zanetti is here. <laughs> very, very supportive of, of our arts throughout our district. Also, Mr. Hodge and Ms. Keegan are here. And in a few moments, you're gonna meet and, and hear more from our art teachers. But before we do that, I would like to have, we'll have some opening remarks from our esteemed principal, Ms. Joan Keegan. Thank you, Mrs. Arnold. I am not creative, <laughs> but not art creative. is a passion. Now, those in the back definitely did not hear the comments being made to my left, which was, yes you are, <laughs> yes you are. Creativity comes in so many different ways. And the art teachers have been my best cheerleaders to keep saying that you can do it, yes you are. In the same way they do it day in and day out in the classroom. So let's give a round of applause for <laughs> Along with that, I have such gratitude for our Board of Education, Central Office Administration, our students, our parents, and the Art Booster Association. So let's just give it up for everyone. It is such a privilege to see today's event come to fruition. When Ms. Arnold assumed the responsibilities of the Fine Arts Program, this summer. Officially, she started on July 1st, but back in June, she was in my office plotting. This is what I want to do. And this was one of the top things on her list. And as one of our colleagues was standing outside, and believe me, a number have passed through the main office simply to say, this is gorgeous. This is what it's all about. But two minutes ago, it was, I always went to the community center to see the art show, but it's so expansive here that you can really enjoy it. So thank you for that vision, and thank you teachers and students for making it happen today. And it is in that theme of gratitude that I would like to stay with why art is the equalizer. Because even when you don't feel 
that you have any creative spirit. And even on your darkest days, and there have been a few of those over the last few years, it is you and your work students that have brought light to this building. Today, we're seeing a portion of that. But I purposely parked down in the bottom lot so that I have to walk through the art section and I get to enjoy your work. And it is you, as I said, who have changed the atmosphere and the culture because you have shared willingly your talents. So keep doing that. Continue to remain generous. Continue to hone your skills. Continue to continually improve. And wherever life leads you, don't ever forget that you are creative. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Keegan. That was really poignant and appropriate to hear. Uh, we really all believe that. It's just so fabulous to be here tonight. Um, our next speaker, I'm really excited to introduce. We, we did something else a little bit different this year. We had my new friend, Laura Lynch, from the Nassau County Art Museum, um, to the director of education. She, she came tonight to speak with you about, about what she has seen in the art show. She has been here. How many of you participated in the um, art walk we did earlier? A lot of yes. Um, she came early and really spent some time with the students to talk about their art and really discuss what she sees and what to look for when you're perusing artwork. So um, we're really happy to have that experience and I'd now like to invite, up, invite Laura up to speak with you further and uh, thank you again for spending your time with us today. Good evening, thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor. This is kind of, I was teaching fifth graders from Harrods today on a virtual tour just at 2.15 today. Mm -hmm. So where our relationships are deepening and broadening and we're, I'm really thrilled to be here with you from the Nassau County Museum of Art. Um, we are not so far from you, right down Serentown Road. If you've never been, I'll do a little plug here. Um, <laughs> down Northern Boulevard, we are the Nassau County Museum of Art. It's an old estate. Um, we welcome all of you to come visit. It's 145 acres, we have 40 sculptures, we have beautiful exhibitions inside. Um, and I'm thrilled. I had the opportunity to meet some of these incredible artists today. Um, there's one of my friends right now. I feel um, just talking about art is such an important act of spending time looking at art, appreciating and, and um, asking questions, um, spending time about the idea of interpreting, looking at the creative process and just looking at the works of art, there were so many, I, we could be here for like a week. Um, it was really hard to pick which works we were talking about, but I, the response from the students that I got to spend a few, half hour with, was so rich in terms of their insights and their, their feedback. So we talked about some of the art on the wall, not necessarily their work, and they were just so kind of generous um, in sharing what they observed the thinking about the process and how many different ways and how many decisions that artists make to make that art on that wall possible. Um, so both the kind of skill set, the formal qualities of art, of line and color and shading and background and composition, but also how art can express what it is to be human. Um, and I think that's the power and the rich quality of art. That's why I've made my life in the arts. Um, just making that possible, whether you go into it as a career in your life, um, not always the most lucrative, no kidding, <laughs> I'll make a little silly joke, um, but the richness of what that is to be able to look at art, make art, talk about it, share it, how much, how much joy all of you have brought to everyone that is visiting tonight. And for your grown-ups, for your parents, for your family members, to see you as an artist, um, I think that's a different side that they might not always see of you. And the expression that is on that wall is just immense and so rich and so bountiful um, that I'm, I'm really impressed by what you guys are doing. Obviously just beautiful and the music. Um, this is, I had never been in this room, in this building before. I've never really worked with your district, but I am truly impressed by the quality of work. Um, and as we referred, we were thinking about Reflecting back on the past couple of years has not been easy. It's been such a challenge for all of us. Um, and I think that art can provide 
Um, not only an opportunity, again, to understand who we are, to express maybe quietly, silently, what we, who we are, what the world is, but also it's been a respite for me as an artist and a teacher to take time to almost kind of lose ourselves in the process of making and talking about art. I think it is there for us, um, and I might not use the word as a therapeutic value of art, but there is something about art that can help kind of cure us, can take us to a new place, Using our imagination, we can go anywhere we want to, just for that uh, half hour, an hour, three hours, whatever time it takes for you to make your art. And I hope that taking time, I saw so many works of art inspired by nature, and I think nature is always here for us to take from. Um, it's there for us to help us heal. But the act of drawing someone's face, of looking at a self-portrait, of um, expressing who you are through that portrait, leaving a little bit of mystery um, we were looking at some of these black and white portraits that were very stark in their shadows. And the story is not always complete. And I think that we have students all the time, it's like, oh, I don't know anything about art. We have adults that say the same thing. But it's, if there's so many different ways to interpret and look at art, there is no right or wrong answer. And that's what is rich and um, expansive for anyone that's involved in the arts. And I hope that you take that time to look at both the art and maybe consider making some art yourself or just opening an art book and spending time to think about throughout the history of mankind how people have used art to kind of express who they are, to understand the world, to feel a little bit better just for a little bit of time. And I think that's important. And I hope that art can provide that for all of you. So thank you so much, all these amazing artists. Again, I got to talk to a few of you. I could have spent hours and hours because I wanted to talk about every single work, but that wouldn't have worked out with our time schedule. <laughs> So thank you so much for having me this evening. Come visit me at the museum. Again, my name is Laura Lynch. If I'm there, say is Laura here. And if I'm around and not teaching or busy at my desk, um, I would love to come down and visit you. We are neighbors. We are the uh, cultural arts family. We'll be doing more work together. And I look forward to that in the future. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Laura. And we are very excited about our continued relationship with the Nassau County Museum of Art. Um, I know you're all really excited and eager to, to enjoy our art show today, but, but we thought it would be really important before we do that that our teachers come up and have an opportunity to share with you a little bit about what you're going to be seeing today, things to look for, where to find things, and just what they've been learning in class over the past year. So we're going to start with Mr. Brogan our TV studio. Hello. I gotta say, before I get started, a thank you. Dr. Fino Solano, the Board of Ed, Ms. Keegan, Brian Hodge, Andrew Frizzone, all the administrators, Anissa Arnold, and especially the other art teachers that I work with, even though we all teach different mediums, we all collaborate together, we share ideas, we are resources that draw from each other, and that's one of the reasons, besides the creativity of the students, why the artwork that you're seeing here is so strong. So thank you all very much. Um, yeah, what I teach is a little different. You know, I teach television production and filmmaking. We have a channel um, on YouTube, HTN Network, Herrick's Television Network, where we put everything up and all of the video submissions for the art show, which are three categories, PSAs, public service announcements, commercials, and independent films can all be viewed on HTN on YouTube. We also have a channel on Altice Cablevision, channel 75, and Fios, channel 47. Please feel free to look at all of that programming 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When my students aren't creating films and PSAs and commercials, we are filming and recording events in the school every week, from sporting events to special events like Battle of the Classics. So please take a look at everything. I have two of my club offices here now that are filming this event, and I couldn't do anything without my students. 
thank you all for trusting me enough with your children to help enrich their lives because they enrich mine every day. I would like to introduce Alexis Camisa. Thank you, Mr. Brogan. Uh, my name is Alexis Camisa and I teach studio art. Um, it's an intro level course uh, for beginning level artists. It also fulfills a state requirement required by New York State in order to graduate high school. Um, thank you so much for coming tonight. Every day I wake up and it's such a pleasure to come to work because your child, your children are just the most wonderful people. Um, and they make me want to get up each day. And some people dream of meeting their most fav like favorite artists in the world, and your children are my most favorite artists. So they truly inspire me. Um, the artwork that you will see outside, um, one project is a collaboration that we did with Queens College, where your children had to choose a role model, and they had to draw it in the beginning of the year. Um, they were all making fun of their portraits, saying, oh, this is horrible, I don't know how to draw, we haven't drew, and you know, we were doing remote learning, and then they submitted their work to me, which I then submitted to a study, which shows the improvement of their realism in their artwork um, through a series of um, realism studies and drawing observation studies. So the portraits that you see out there are as real as it gets in about a uh, length of a school year. So imagine what their work will look like when they get to senior year if they continue the arts. Um, and then the other two projects that you'll see outside is an art history in the style of painting. That's um, some of their first acrylic paintings ever, which is pretty impressive. They learn color theory, learning how to mix paints and composition. And then lastly, you'll see a mixed media independent study where the students had to choose um, an independent study topic they were interested, of, in it, interested in, excuse me, and then choose their desired medium. So thank you again so much for coming tonight. It's my pleasure to teach them. And I really hope that you enjoy the artwork as much as the whole community has and as we have. So I'm going to pass over the mic to Mrs. Cavaluzzo. Thank you, Ms. Camisa. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that it is so nice to have this back again. Um, it is something that we have really just truly missed and it's so nice to see everybody here and happy to, to share the work with you guys. Um, just seeing the kids in class and a full class and laughing and talking has been so different than what we were used to the last two years, so it's really been um, wonderful. Um, also, I just have to say that what Ms. Camisa said also, we're, we get inspired by you guys. It's, it's so true. Something might come up and somebody says, well, do you think we could do this? How can we do this? And, I'll say, you know what, that's an awesome idea. And then I end up thinking about how to do my own piece that way. So it's just wonderful how we all feed off of each other. It's really just, I don't know, it's, it's the reason why we do this. So um, I teach sculpture. I teach drawing and painting one and two at AP. So you'll see some of the sculptures out in the courtyard. Um, one of my favorites is they had to use a balloon or two or three and create an animal out of it. And they had to figure out how they'd use the balloon and what they would use to create the um, animals, and they came out awesome. Um, they also had to make cardboard food products, which you see in this hallway down here underneath my drug painting one um, acrylic painting of foods. And the last thing that we're working on, so the few out there, are the um, mannequin heads. And it just blows my mind to see how I could say, listen, you have to have a mannequin head, come up with some sort of theme, idea, and then they just take it and run with it. So it's really cool to see what they come up with. Um, there's also some surreal pieces in the front that are super interesting to look at to, again, see how people use different mediums together to create a surrealistic um, image. And a couple of my favorites also down here are the black and white uh, portraits that my drawing painting one students have done. They just have done an amazing job and it's been a really awesome year. So thank you so much for coming. And I'm gonna hand it over to Mr. Kroski. Okay, I have to agree with Mr. Cavaluzzo every day. I used to be in advertising and this whole advertising thing and then I had changed a career and I wanted to be an art teacher to give back. And every day I come here, boy, our fashion students, we laugh, we have music, we create. There is such um, inspiration that I see with all of you and it really, really touches me. I go home in my car and I'm driving, I'm so happy. So I want to say thank you for all that, what you give to me every day and I hope I give back to you as well. So. This year, very excited to have the art show here at the high school. 
So Ms. Arnold and I, our vision was to bring it back here, which we thought would be really nice. So what you're gonna see in the courtyard is the fashion mannequins. So their assignment was to take a piece of famous artist or artist work and recreate that garment board and create an actual garment in the style of. So all these mannequins, eighth period today, we were lugging them out there, putting them out, and they look amazing. So excited, so you, not, you definitely need to be walking around there. As well as going in the front, and the top there, I teach uh, darkroom photography, photo one, two, three, and AP photo. So you need to also look at that, as well as the digital photography, Photoshop, and surrealism as well. And what else do I teach? And you know, this and that, and watercolor, and studio art. So I teach a lot of things, but I want to say thank you. I see my students here, and they're for supporting me in the art show. So I think I'm getting back to Anise Arnold. So enjoy the show. Okay, really exciting. We're all excited to go, go check everything out. What we like to do before we do that, we like to recognize our seniors today. And before we do that, I'd like to invite up um, our arts boosters, Blessing Chu and Angela Wan. Come on over. I'd like to thank our arts boosters. If, if you are not, or your parents are not already members, please consider joining this group of wonderful, dedicated parents who have really been supportive. They provided all our beautiful decorations tonight. Um, and really supportive of all art students K to 12. Um, this year, this is our first official year, and the Arts Boosters is providing a scholarship for a senior continuing on in the field of art. So they're gonna present their scholarship award first, and I'm handing the mic over to them. Thank you, Anissa. Thank you, Anissa. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I am Angela Lawn, and this is Blessing Chu. We are um, co-presidents of Herrick's Arts Boosters. Herrick's Arts Boosters is here to support the art endeavor at Herrick's. Um, we are so happy to be back in person, and we're so very um, thankful for your membership as well. If you haven't joined yet, please do join Arts Boosters. Um, so it's our privilege to present a one senior award um, to a talented senior who has distinguished herself in the art department. And she's been described as creative, respectful, hardworking, and very motivated. She spent countless hours trying to perfect her pieces and is constantly strong with each medium. Her dedication to improving her achievements is respected by both her teachers and her peers. So the Herrick's Arts Boosters will be awarding one senior scholarship every year. This year is our first year under the advisory of Anissa Arnold. Thank you so much, Anissa. We are very proud to award our 2022 Senior Arts Boosters Scholarship to Ms. Ashley Ha. Alexis 
to me, sir. No, I don't. I'm Kevin Cavaluzzo. Oh. Jennifer Cavaluzzo. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, Ashley, I need to do this to you again, but Ashley, huh? <laughs> <laughs> After you get your plaque, just stay up here until just you can stay there. Ciara Montemayor. <laughs> Isabella Tang. Well, I'm going to make a little later. Catherine G. Mamia Manuala, Melissa Truly, Watson Beck, Danielle Huang, Kelly Ng, Alicia Bajma, and Julia Sinchon.